everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Shimmers Paints YouTube education team. And I'm super excited to share this one with y'all today because for the month of October, the design team members have chosen one color. It could be any Shimmers product. It, could, it just had to be one color that they had to incorporate into a fall layout. So I'm prepping some white gesso onto the Basil cardstock marshmallow. And the color that I've chosen to use is a an original shimmers in the color Wisteria Lane, and that's one of the newer uh, colors. I've also chosen, um, well, I've also chose to add another shimmers in When Skies Are Gray and a coloring in Ahoy Meiji. Now you could add, why did it sound like I had a pirate accent right now? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is take like 10. So I'm just going to roll with it and we're just going to pretend that that didn't happen. Okay, so uh, you just had to pick one color, but you could also add a few other colors or whatever else you wanted to add to it. But your one color that you chose had to be a, the primary focus and the majority of your um, project had to have um, a lot of that color um, on it. So uh, I have chosen a different kind of layout for my project today. And you'll see that I had shown you uh, a little while back, I had chosen some like a Indigo Hills 2 pattern paper and I fussy cut all those flowers out. So I decided to go with a diagonal uh, stripe, I guess, across my, my paper. I was going to do a wreath and then I was going to do like a frame um, instead of a wreath, but I thought, okay, let's do something different. You know, you see wreaths everywhere and I love them. I'm all for it, but I wanted to do something different as well as um, make the purple stand out a lot. So that's what I chose, and I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I'm really, really pleased with how it did. So I did the packaging technique, and I did some splatters, and I uh, dried the first layer with my heat tool to speed it up a little bit, and then I, was, I went back in to add some color. And I did, I don't know if I've added it yet, but I do add a lot of splatters. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. So I'm adding a lot of splatters because I didn't want the rest of the paper that didn't have any color on it just to be white. I did want some splatters spread out amongst my page. All right, so Wisteria Lane is so pretty and I knew that I could totally get away with creating a fall layout by using this color. Um, and it matched the Indigo Hills collection or Indigo Hills 2 collection perfectly. Um, so I'm going in, what did I add right here? I think I added Ahoy Maybe, is that what I added? I'm sorry, I didn't see me spray it, but I think I did. And that is another new release, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. And now I'm going to go in and add some of the When Skies Are Gray. And if you didn't know, Shimmers, are, the Shimmers little pot, they already come with color in it. Not color, duh. They already come with liquid in it, so you just have to mix it up to get all the shimmer that um, settles at the bottom just mixed up so it'll be all throughout your paint. And now I'm just going in to add additional splatters everywhere. Now, Wisteria Lane is still my primary focus, but I just wanted a few other colors added um, just to help accent it a little while, a little bit. All right, here's where I go in with the Ahoy Navy, and it's a very, very deep blue. It's so pretty. So I've got the splatters, and here is, I think this is what I do. I take some of the Wisteria Lane because I wanted more splatters with the purple, and um, is this when I do it? I actually, yes, yeah, this is where I spray the Ahoy Maybe into the Wisteria Lane. And oh my gosh, it created this really deep, rich blue, but even more um, shimmer. And I loved it. Oh my gosh, I loved it. So I went a little splatter crazy. <laughs> if you can see, like, I like went to town on the splatters. But I love how it turned out, especially because I knew that the majority of it, not the majority of it, a lot of it was going to be covered up. And so here's my background, and I'm showing you here all the beautiful shimmer. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. All right, now here is where I am going to add all the fussy cut flowers. Um, I had prepped these, I don't know, about a week ago. I knew already in my mind what I was going to do. Like, I had my color, and I knew that this paper was going to be on my layout. So I sat in front of the TV and fussy cut them on the couch. Because honestly, it's so tedious, and I can't sit at my desk and just cut flowers. So I... I try to cut ahead of time and, um, you know, set myself up for success. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it went it went fairly quickly. 
And so now I'm just laying it, laying all the flowers out, kind of how I want them, and I'm trying to fill in some gaps with the uh, leaves that I had cut out as well. I was kind of cutting out everything on that page, which I still have a quarter, probably a quarter piece of the paper left, thank goodness, because I love these flowers so much. And I'm pretty pleased with it, with how it looks, like right now. And um, <laughs> at this point, I didn't know what, this is twice now, I didn't know what photo I was going to use. I had an idea that I wanted it to be black and white, and I just kind of went through what I had already printed and chose this photo of my son. Um, I had scrapbooked a similar photo of him, but he was smiling in that other one, and it was in color. So in this, I love this photo of him. He just has this really, you know, cute, serious face on. So I turned it black and white and um, thought it would be perfect. And it's a boy. I mean, not it's a boy. It's a boy layout because it's obviously a picture of my son. And yes, I've got lots of floral all over it, but that's okay because, I mean, I create these layouts for me, and um, I just think it looks, I think it looks good. So don't be afraid to shy away, and I understand it may not be for anybody, or for everybody, I should say, um, you know, more of the florals or the pinks and purples for boys' layouts, and that's fine, but I'm just, I always like to um, create something different to give you something to think about, or, you know, some kind of in inspiration for people that might be open to it or you know would feel comfortable using flowers and um, more feminine colors for their boys. All right so I'm just gluing down all of these delicious flowers and kind of filling it in and filling in the gaps with these little leaves and I don't embellish too much after this because the flowers are a lot and um, I didn't want to take too much away from it. And I didn't want to make my page too busy because, I mean, it really is busy, but I love how it's different. It's different to me with it going from, you know, the bottom left corner to the top right corner. But I love how it turned out. And I do want to, like, I wish I had another page so I can make a wreath because I do love making circle wreaths. Or you could make, like, a heart wreath. That would be really pretty. Or even a square, like a square frame. I remember Paige Evans had made one. She had stamped a bunch of stamped images and made it like a square frame, and it was such a good idea. And that's what I was originally going to try to do, but I thought, okay, let's just try this diagonal line and, you know, see how it works. And I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. So I'm going through my embellishments from the Indigo Hills 2 collection, as well as the journaling tag um, pack. And I just pull a um, one of the, let's see, the, um, I'm sorry, I'm being distracted. Because, <laughs> sorry if you heard that in the background. There's a major baseball game going on and it's super loud. Okay, so I chose one of the ephemera pieces and it's going to be my title. It's Darling, Just Believe in Yourself. And I love this, um, what am I sure? I love this piece because it's very encouraging and I'm always, always encouraging my, my boys every day. I try to. I'm very positive. We try to stay very positive. All right, so that's going to be my title. I did add this puppy uh, sticker with a bunch of leaves on it. And then I did try to add one of these wood veneer pieces. When I got this pack, I thought those would be the first things that I use. And it's always the ones that I think that I'm going to use that I don't. So I don't know why I'm struggling with those. I have no idea why. So though none of those made it on there. And I'm looking to see what else I could add. I did want to add one of those stickers that I had pulled out. But I didn't end up doing that, unfortunately. So I'm just kind of gluing. Did I add some? Yes, I did add, like, I had a random piece of thread that was on my desk. And it just happened to tuck in there nicely. And I like how it's the loops are very loose. It's not as tight. And then here's one where I struggle with this one, like, trying to, because I didn't try on the first one. I kind of just shoved them up under my leaves. And I just happened to like how it turned out. So, of course, when I actually try to do it, on the top it doesn't work out so I struggle so uh, it ended up working out like I tried to make it more loose and more you know just kind of like they just happened to fall underneath my uh, leaves and I just glued it down so uh, let's see what else I'm adding I added that little piece that says you are awesome because he is and then I pulled out a couple hearts from that puppy sticker sheet and let's see I don't think I do too much else I believe I tried. Like, I thought that I wanted some stuff at the, um, on the left, but I don't add anything there. Like, I thought it needed to be balanced, but I don't add anything. Let's see what else. 
I'm gonna do yeah see this is where I try to add that and it just it doesn't look too bad now but I just wasn't feeling it when I was creating my page so I'm gonna save my stickers <laughs> for another layout and then I thought, okay, do I need to add something here? And then I thought, okay, no. It's not going to work, Brianna. <laughs> Let it go. See, I'm auditioning. I love that thing. I think I've heard Missy Wooden say that a few times. None of them made the cut. So I'm going to move on to some enamel dots. And I create little clusters. I have two little clusters. One of them is that left and then up on the uh, right, on the right side of the photo. And I do believe I'm going to add in some Spiegelmann scrap sequins, and I'm pulling some out right now. Oh no, not yet. Okay, so at the bottom left, I thought that that purple was a little too bold, and I didn't quite blend it in as much. I kind of had ran my paintbrush through it originally and then didn't go back. So I took some of uh, the Winspazer Gray and kind of um, blended it out a little bit. So it didn't look too, like, in your face. And it made your eye draw, draw there than to my photo. All right, so I didn't get on camera. I'm not sure where my footage is, but I did add some Spiegelmann scrap sequins um, from the Grape Juice Collection. There they are right there. And that was my final photo. Uh, thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, if you do place an order with Shimmer Paint, place my name in the comment section, and they'll send you a free gift. Um, thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.